This is a really interesting question um, for uh, harder college entrance exams or maths Olympiads. We're asked to find what the remainder is when the year, when 2025 to the power of 2025 is divided by 35. Okay, now I'm going to do three methods, uh, and maybe in the comments you can vote on which method you uh, you prefer. The, but there is a serious side to this in that the more methods that you have uh, to solve something like this, the quicker you're going to be able to solve it in an exam. Okay, so let's have a look at method one. Method one is using the binomial expansion. So the idea is to get as much as we possibly can as a multiple of 35 and then see what's left. Okay, so 2025, we clearly want to put it as uh, either 35 times 57 add 30 or 35 times 58 minus 5. Okay, well, I tend to prefer having the smaller number here. So we can rewrite 2025 as 35 times 58 minus 5 to the power of 2025. Now, when we expand this using the binomial expansion, all of these terms will be multiples of 35 and therefore we can ignore them when we're looking to decide what the remainder is uh, when we divide by 35. So the only thing that we will be interested in here is the final term, which will be minus 5 to the power of 2025, which is the same thing as minus 5 to the 2025. OK, so now what we want to do is we want to put minus 5 to the power of 2025 in multiples of 35. OK, and ideally we also want to have a small integer left. So if we look at uh, 125, which is uh, 5 cubed, um, which equals uh, also equals 7 times 18 minus 1. Um, now the good thing about that is if we can put a 5 outside of the bracket here, and we can have all of these terms inside the bracket being multiples of 7, then 5 times 7 is 35. We will find that everything except the final term is a multiple of 35, which is what we want to do. So let's have a look. Minus 5 to the 2025. OK, well, let's leave a 5 out. Now, in actual fact, uh, because 125 is 5 cubed, we are going to have to leave 5 cubed outside, which gives us 5 to the 2022 which also can be written as 5 cubed times 5 cubed to the 674. And as we've just realized here, we can also write that as 5 cubed times 126 minus 1 to the 674. Sorry, we make, make sure we don't uh, ignore the minus sign. Uh, and we can rewrite that as minus 5 cubed times 7 times 18 minus 1 to the 674. Now when we expand this by the binomial expansion, we will find that all of the terms will have a 7 multiplied by a 5, which is 35. So we can ignore them and we will be left with the final term, minus 5 cubed times minus 1 to the 674, which equals minus 5 cubed. We're almost there now. All we need to do this is put this as a factor of 35. Now minus 5 cubed is equal to minus 125, which equals minus 4 times 35, add 15. And so therefore, this is a multiple of 35. The only thing we're left with is 15. So the remainder is 15. That's method one. Uh, it's a little bit difficult. I prefer method two. OK, so there's method one. Let's have a look at method two. OK, now method two. Um, we're going to put, look at 2025. So let's just rewrite the question. 2025 to the 2025. Now we're going to look at 2025. What does it equal mod 5? Well, clearly it equals 0 mod 5 because 2025 is a multiple of 5. Now what about 2025 mod 7? Okay, well, 2025 divided by 7. Uh, 2025 divided by 7 is equal to 289 remainder 2. Um, and so therefore, 2025 equals 2 mod 7. OK, now, so therefore, 2025 to the 2025 equals 0 to the 2025 mod 5, which clearly equals 0. And 2025 to the 2025 mod 7 equals 2 to the 2025 mod 7. And 2 to the 2025, uh, well, let's have a look at that. Um, what we need to do is we need to go uh, to try and find something which is a, a power of 2, which is close to 7. Well, clearly 2 cubed satisfies that. So 2 to the 2025 
equals 8 to the power of uh, 605. Um, is that right? 685, sorry. Uh, equals uh, 8 to the power of 685, which mod 7 equals 1 to the power of 685, mod 7. And so therefore, we have the answer that 2025 to the 2025 is 0, mod 5, and 2025 to the 2025 is 1, mod 7. Now that means that what, what, what we actually want is, what is it, mod 35? Well, if it's 0 mod 5, that means the remainder when we, when we divide by 35 will either be 0, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, or 30. That's from this one. And from this one, the remainder when we divide by 35 will either be 1, 8, 15, 22, or 29. And the only one which is in both of those is 15. And so therefore, the remainder when we divide by 35 is 15. Now, I like that method. Um, it's quite a good one. Let's have a look at method three. So method three, uh, basically we take, uh, it's the same as method two for the first little bit. So let's just get to, uh, where are we? Method three, let's just take these two bits uh, sorry, these two bits uh, here. So we know that 2025 to 5 to the 2025 is equal to 0 mod 5. That's, uh, and let, let the number be A, it doesn't matter what it is anyway. And so A also equals 2025 to the 2025, which equals uh, 1 mod 7. We've already worked that out above. Okay, so basically from this one here, we know that the number a is equal to 7 times some integer, let's call it l, add 1, okay? Um, but we also know that a is equal to 0 mod 5. So therefore we know that 7l add 1 equals 0 mod 5. Okay, so solving this equation here, 7l add 1 equals 0 mod 5, well, we can solve that by inspection. If we have L equals 2, 7 times 2 is 14, add 1 is 15, which is 0 mod 5. So from there we know that L equals 2 um, mod 5. And so therefore we can put the L back, uh, we can rewrite L, sorry, as equal to 5 times some p add 2, because it equals 2 mod 5, so therefore it is 5p add 2. Putting this L back into this equation here, we have our answer a equals 7 times l, which is 5p add 2, add 1. And expanding this, we get the a, which is what we want, which is 2025 to the power of 2025, equals 35p add 14, add 1, which is 35p add 15, which clearly when we divide by 35, that leaves us with just the 15 remainder. So all three methods um, give us 15. If anybody can find a fourth method, then um, please uh, feel free to write it in the comments to this video. Um, if you enjoyed this, please uh, subscribe to the Gresty Academy YouTube channel. Thank you.